days are cooler, nights are warmer, and I put the blame on you. Time moves slow, but my heart beats fast. When these eyes are looking right at you, right at you, you give me something to believe in, just what I need it. I'm going to talk about Trump. Um, I'm not going to talk about what he did, but the reason why I'm flipping is because of this. I believe that there are certain values that I do believe he really does have that uh, I share. I'll give you an example. If somebody commits suicide and the coroner writes the report, it says white female or black female, and then it says method of death, it says suicide. It doesn't say on the live. It doesn't say it doesn't use the pronouns which is being used today. That's why I say right now things are getting kind of ridiculous out here. Mm-hmm. People have always existed mm-hmm. in in their whatever they are, but yeah. I just think that right now I'm I'm confused out here right now. I don't know what to so say. So what does that have to do with voting rights, with reproductive rights, with the ability to be able to not be shot by police because they have full immunity? What does that have to do with the economy, with the stock market, with inflation, with the debt? Some of the things that I think are ridiculous, but, you know, using the R word. I, so let me ask you, um, and I hear you. And while Donald Trump, what he is, is a bigot. So you align yourself, Greg, and, I, and, I, and I'm being honest right now. He's a bigot. He, he's a bigot, right? So he doesn't, and yeah. he's an old yeah. bigot. He's a 70-year-old Archie Bunker style bigot. He thinks blacks are a certain kind of way, and these Latinos, these Mexicans, and and these women should be able to, you know, be at his beck and call. So you're when you say you're aligning with his values, are those the values? He's 78 years old. You align with a 78 year old white man's values, Greg? No, no, and that's a fair question. That's a fair question because two weeks prior to the Central Park Five getting caught, I was riding my bike through there. That could have been me and my friends. I remember what he did. I grew up in New York City. I remember the ads. It was very racist. I agree with you. I'm not saying everything. I'm not, I don't have no reason to defend him. But, but I'm you just are, saying but that you, I have but to. You, but you are, though. I, and, and here's the I, thing. I listen, like listen, listen, things. listen, listen. Hold on, Greg. I'm a, okay. I'm a certain age. There are things, you know, that I had when I was teaching. I had my first trans, transgender student. I, it was like pronouns weren't a thing. I remember when I was like admonishing my students, I'm like, he said, she said, and they put, they said, and I was like, no, it's he or she. And they were like, no, professor, this person identified as they, and I was like, oh, I have to, I have to make an adjustment. And guess what, Greg, it doesn't harm me to call somebody by what they want to be called by. I don't have any harm whatsoever. So I, I can do that because I'm a grown, mature, nimble person that if a person has a pronoun that they want to be referred to, what harm is it? for me to do that. And while I may not feel comfortable because I'm not used to it, I don't understand how that then lands you on voting for somebody who could turn back the hands of time for all of us. No, I'm not, I'm not completely sold. Okay. Let me just start there. I'm not completely sold. However, I remember what Joe Madison said, Joe Madison, the late great Joe Madison used to say politics is not, what do you say? There's not uh, permanent friends. There's, permanent interest so people Correct. could align on certain things and with that being said i'm not saying i'm sold on him but i have to do you, do you things think that I really, do you think do you think joe madison would be on these airwaves supporting anything no, 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 to do right. i mean i'm saying like, you listen to joe madison yeah. every day and you would you yeah. could open your mouth to say that you yeah. are flipping to donald trump no, after no, this don't, man don't, don't beat joe, me up no, too I'm, much. Don't you me said up that you said i'm not beating you up greg i need you to sit with that you're part of this family. That's like you saying, I'm going to support the person that's trying to burn down your house. But you're part of our house. I don't understand this. I, like I said, Karen. We I'm all in this house to together, bro. You trying to, the man got the light, the torch, and all these motherfuckers with the tiki torches ready to burn down our house. And you're considering voting for him? What? Because of I some damn right pronouns? It's, Come it's on. It's not just that. I mean, I mean, also. Come on. You know, you can't say retarded. You, right, right. But why, why do you want to say retarded? But, but I'm saying these are the things that I grew but, up But with. why do you want to say retarded? Because I don't see no harm in the word. 
but are you retarded? I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, say, are you raising children people, that are on the spectrum? Are you? Do you have people on the spectrum in your in your in your life? Yeah, but but uh, Karen, I'm just saying that some certain things I really yes. stuck on certain values. All of that, all of that, and I feel values. you. We're gonna have a family discussion today about gender and how how they should show up in the Olympics because I feel very strongly about this. But what oh no, that was wrong. That was very wrong. Yes, what, but what Greg, I, what does any I, of this? Somebody, uh, what Greg? Right. What does any of this have to do with policy? This is the president. Do you, you trust this man with the nuclear codes, with taking us in or out of war, being the head of the damn military? This unstable, unhinged person? You you feel comfortable with that? No, but I'll tell you right now, Karen, we're, we're discussing this with you. You're, you're swaying me back to the other side. So your job is done, okay? <laughs> all, right, all right, listen, bro. No, no, I'm, I'm not being no. overcome. Let, let me just say this. First of all, I, I love you. Right. And I mean that with every fiber of my being, this, this audience, um, the, the people, people in general, not just this audience. I love people. I, I feel like we should be able to coexist, not just coexist, but thrive on this ball together. And some of the decisions people are making. And, and if you notice, I'm talking to you because I don't think you're a troll. You know, I immediately no, no, know no, everybody no, is like, no, no. you know, let them talk, and blah, blah, blah. And, and trying to admonish me how I do my job as if I haven't been doing this for 30 years. I know immediately when somebody's coming in, not being honest with themselves. And I knew that you were somebody that really you're part of this family, but, but are living in a world where you don't feel seen. You feel like there's nothing you can do. Like everything is wrong and you're frustrated and I feel you and I understand where you're coming from, but not today. Not today, Greg. We don't have the we don't have the too much, luxury. Too much on the line. Too much. Too on much. The line, right? too but I think we should have a conversation and separate policy from our personal feelings. Can I say one more thing? Yes. To all the audience, you have you had to grow up in New York to understand who Karen Hunter was. I mean, is Karen Hunter, Miss Karen, Doctor Karen Hunter has been she has been doing journalism and she's done some hellified articles that I used to get on the on the E train and ride to eat Twenty Third Street Eli, go to work, wow. and I I just always want to read your articles. So thank you. And you, you convinced me, Karen. No, no, real for real. I mean, right. I, I was honest. I was honest, but you were. I, and, and this is all I required. You know, just let's let's have an honest conversation. Don't come in trolling, which you didn't. So I respect you for doing that too, Greg. And I thank you for being man enough. And I, let me not put it that way. Being enough of a human being <laughs> to admit that maybe you know you could be convinced, and then actually changing your mind. I love that. That's growth. That's what that's what we're here to do. So. Thank you. Thank you for restoring my faith because <laughs> I promise you it is very tough uh, some days sitting here. And, you know, I've been very optimistic. This is another little, you know, it gets me going. I'm like, it's possible. It's possible to have these conversations because we have to start at a place of love. My days are cooler. Nights are warmer. And I put the blame on you. Time moves slow, but my heart beats faster. Yeah. When these eyes are looking right at you, right at you, you give me something to believe in, just what I needed. You're the closest.